Bendiciones and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to do something different and I wanted to bring a different approach to a lingerie review. Now, if you strictly came here just to see the try on part of the video, I will be putting the timestamp below in the description so that you can just skip ahead if that's all you came here for. But if you want to stay and hear sort of my relationship with lingerie and my sort of journey and how I got from my very first piece of lingerie and this amazing haul right here that I'm excited because this is from the runway of the Volume 3 Savage X Fenty Show, which, I mean, I'm a fan of one, two, but three just hit different for me, and I needed to get my hands on a couple of the iconic pieces that were on the runway, and I have them here in this bag, and I bought it for myself, and I'm going to go into all the details on the purchasing process, how that went, and the ins and outs on ordering Savage X Fenty. So like I said, if you just want to go straight to the part where it is just about this, I ain't going to fault you. Maybe you want to save the story time for a little later, but for me, I felt that it was important to sort of talk about how it all started for me and lingerie and my relationship with that and what it means to me because lingerie inevitably is something intimate. It's personal. It's something that you wear as the first garment that lays on your body and it makes us feel something and that's different for different people. And I just want to talk about how it feels for me and how I've been able to get to this place and change my relationship with lingerie. So don't go away because I'm coming right back. But you know, I got to do my little YouTube introduction because she worked hard on it, honey. And while you at it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And if you're new here, oh, welcome to the house of realness because it is strictly vibes here. That's something that like, LA people be saying it's like vibes all the time, you know, but you know, she a Brooklyn girl here in Cali living her life. <laughs> You're here to hear the bochinche. If you don't know what bochinche is, that is the gossip. That's the tea, honey. Y'all want to know what went down and sort of what happened the first time I put on lingerie. All right. So, boom. Here's the situation. I was in a situation ship with a person that practically didn't exist because to the outside world, we weren't a thing. And um, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time. But we was, we had came upon a time, let's put it like that, because I'm trying to choose my words carefully, because, you know, hashtag demonetization, and your girl's trying to make a little coin Tina here on this video. But, um, yes, I'm trying to choose my words wisely, because, you know, she's done some inner healing, and we've come a long way. Um, since the first time I wore this, I have never worn it since and I have kept it pristine because I've never worn it because this, um, oh, I remember the first time I wore it and that's what we're here to talk about. Oh, oh, okay. So I was in a situation with somebody and we had come into a point in our situation where we were no longer having intimate relations and it had been months upon months, upon months, and sharing a bed with someone every single night that when we stepped outside of the door, no one knew we were together because no one could know that we were together because, you know? That, that part. But, I um, sort of felt responsible for why we weren't being intimate. And I 
bear the grunt of the responsibility and in doing so, I guess being with this person, my confidence or my self-worth was wrapped around them validating my existence in our situationship. I didn't want to lay in the bed with someone and cook for someone and clean up after someone and be there and nurse someone when they're sick and feel like I'm nursing a stranger, that I'm with a stranger in my house. So I felt responsible for the reason why we weren't being intimate. And I thought maybe it's because I've gained weight because he had brought mention to that and he... um didn't like my natural hair. He said that he didn't find it to feminize my face and it didn't look good on me. So I would wear quick weaves and wigs and everything I try to do to sort of cater to him to make him acknowledge and want me and want to be with me, be intimate with me. So one particular night, I had a plan. I went to a store called It's fashions and if you have lived anywhere in the south you know about its fashions i went to its fashions to the clearance rack and i bought a lingerie set and this is when i was oh god but i bought a lingerie set and it was this one right here i will show you this is it um it has like cutouts and it's the sheer illusion and it's lace um, and it has like the little, you know, this was it. And I got it from It's Fashions. It's a 2X. And it doesn't really have a name of who made it. But I remember I paid, I believe it was $9.99 on the clearance rack. And I bought this. And I knew that I was going to get to leave work early that day. And I knew that he was going to be out doing whatever he was doing. Um, later on, I found out what he was doing wasn't what he was saying he was doing. But, you know, <laughs> that's in the past. We've healed. <laughs> um, but um, I came home and I cooked him his favorite meal. I went in and I cleaned the house. I made the bed and I sort of planned everything for when he gets home to have a good meal. And when he was in the room, I was going to tell him that we were going to watch Dragon Ball Z because that was kind of like our thing where we would we were going through like Dragon Ball Z and watching all of that. And I was going to come out of the bathroom because the bathroom was sort of out like the room was here. The door was here. And then the bathroom was right outside the door. Right across the hall that led into like the hallway that led into the kitchen and the living room. So, boom. Um, I was going to go into the bathroom, slip into this, come out and sort of surprise him in lingerie because his tummy would have been full with his favorite meal. I would have cleaned, made the bed and everything was just going to be perfect for, you know, everything. And I got him his drink so he wasn't going to like complain because he was a fan of the sauce and uh, too much of a fan of the sauce. But we're not going to get too deep into that. Um... <laughs> But yes, that was the plan and it was the first time I was, I guess, exploring lingerie to spice things up and the night definitely did not go as planned. I put on this piece of lingerie and exactly as I planned, he came home. He had already been, you know, a little sauced, but he was still good and I greeted him nicely, hugged him. I made sure my hair looked the way he wanted, my makeup looked the way he wanted, all of it looked the way he liked. And I made sure I looked good, shaved, lotion, glitter, all of it. Like she was giving it. And he was like, oh, okay, you look different, da 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 da. Like, what's the occasion? And I was like, no, nothing, you know, I just missed you. This, that, and the third. Fed him all of that. He was like, oh, and you made the, oh, 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 I'm going to wash my hands. I remember the day, like, he was hype. He was hype, you know, because I am that girl. She is that girl, honey. If you don't know, just watch my channel. I cooks. So when he saw that and he smelled the house, he was hype because he knew 
what was going to be in the fridge for a couple of days because I made it extra. Like, I was like, I want him to really see that I made the big pot of it. And if you want to know what I made, let me know in the comments down below. I'll tell you and I might just do a video. But it involves my secret beans. And my beans are iconic. Everyone that's had my beans are like, girl. So... That is a part of the meal, but whatever. Hooked it up, made extra. He was hype, ate, stuffed, all that. I'm like, okay, let's go watch Dragon Ball Z. He's like, ooh, went into the room. He saw the candles were lit, everything. He was like, ooh, 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 feeling good, feeling good, feeling good, feeling good. And at that time, I was taking care of his skin. And that's why I can't wait like to find my new boo because I'm going to put him on to Fenty skin and I'm going to start taking care of his skin because that was something that... um. It's, it's just intimate, and I really like that. I like just having those moments where we, you know, a little nudging it over the sink, and we wash our hands and brushing our teeth and taking care of our skin together. That's the type of relationship I want. Um, so I would take care of his skin or whatever. So had him looking good in the bag, comfortable. Slip this on. You know what this fool? And I had to sorry use that word. I don't know if I'm going to get demonetized, but you know what he did? Mind you, we're not going to even get into it, but this is a person that, let's just say I've done his laundry. Mm. Do you wipe, sir? This is a person that I carried wipes in my purse whenever we went out because he always needed to use the bathroom somehow. I don't know what was going on in his stomach. And I needed to ensure that when I did laundry... I didn't have to really do laundry, if you know what I mean. Um, He laughed. He laughed and he was like, you do not have the body to wear lingerie. And that stood with me. That stood with me and I felt terrible. Terrible. And... And sort of my self-discovery and coming into myself and sort of being single and experiencing all that I've experienced, I have been able to sort of rediscover what sexy and what a lingerie body is to me. And I have been able to sort of embrace all of my curves and everything I have to offer. And Savage X Fenty being one of the first lingerie all-inclusive brands has made this sort of new relationship with lingerie and this sort of new relationship with myself and loving myself and rediscovering and redefining what everything is about me I have been able to change my relationship and discover that my body is a lingerie body no matter how or what shape it is and who I am and if a person cannot see that then you know deuces cheers to the freaking weekend but, um, yeah, that's sort of my uh, history with lingerie, how it all started from here to Savage X Fenty. So let's get into the review because this particular runway meant a lot to me. And it's because of one particular piece that I needed to get my hands on and I could not risk the like chance that I was going to miss out on this particular outfit. It is the one that means the most to me out of this whole entire haul because I got a couple of things so that it just wasn't about that one thing. Your girl saves up her coin Tina to get a couple of things for this review so that you guys have a couple of pieces so you can get a bit of a wide range of what the brand has to offer. Uh, I'm so, so, so excited about this particular piece and 
I can't wait to show you. But before we get into that, let's talk about sort of Savage X Fenty as a company and what it sort of is and how it works and how it functions. So have you ever heard of like BoxyCharm or maybe like Shoe Dazzle or Fabletics? Those are subscription um, websites that you pay a monthly subscription and it offers you a sort of insider dealing to products at a premium rate or like a bargain rate because you are a member. It's sort of an exclude like an exclusive sort of like community that they're trying to build. It's like, hey, you're you're paying this membership, but this membership is coming with perks and your purchase of that membership goes into the purchase of what you purchase. So it's not like you're losing the money because every month you use the money that you pay for your membership. So that's sort of how it's set up. Now, if you do not have the coin Tina, like I at the moment did not have the coin Tina to sort of subscribe and do that monthly subscription to join the VIP inclusive package that is sort of set with Savage X Fenty and a lot of those other companies. Hashtag I am not sponsored yet. Just want to make myself completely clear and transparent so that you know that I am giving you a review unbiased of anything and letting you know how it works. So with that being said, the VIP membership is used and that money is used in the purchase of whatever you purchase for that month. So see it as a monthly reminder and a monthly like thing where it's like, okay, ooh, this is something new, something sexy, something where it switches up every month and you don't get stagnated because oftentimes in situationships or relationships or marriages, what often happens is that you kind of get stuck in a rut, in a routine. Let Savage X Fenty be your monthly reminder that it's like seasons change and this is a new month and this is a new set of onesies, a new set of panties, a new set of bras, a new set of lingerie, a new set of accessories, a new you. Wake up. That's how you should see it. But if you cannot do that, what I would recommend, like I did, wait until you have the coin Tina and you build up that money. Put money aside every single time. You know, really budget your expenses and say, what am I spending my money on? And keep a budget journal where you write down all those things. That's how I've been able to save money is writing down those expenses and really sitting with myself and saying, okay, where can I cut the fat? No pun intended. Um, and build up that money and then when it's worth it and hopefully they have not sold out because they tend to sell out especially with their plus size range because there hasn't been an industry um that has been size inclusive you know the only other industry that sort of dominated the space was vs and we're not going to name that company because they weren't all inclusive and that brand definitely chose that decision but Riri decided to go the other way so oftentimes with the bigger sizes they tend to send out sell out a lot faster because there hasn't been a market that has been all inclusive like this especially with the male section because I'm gonna keep it above 50 with you the man that I want is a man who's going to be committed to turning me on just as much as he wants me to turn him on and as much as you like to see me in lingerie and I like to see myself in lingerie first and foremost because I do this for me. I want you to look good for me too. Put on that Savage X Fenty. Put on those sheer little underwears. Put on that satin robe. I want you to look good and smell good for me too. And bust it wide open for me too. Like, what you think? What you think? This ain't a one-way street, homeboy. This is not. So that's the type of energy I want. And yeah. I love that about this brand. It's so all-inclusive. So look at that membership as a monthly reminder. And if you cannot save your coin, Tina, and do just that one-time deal and buy your merch. And what happens is for the first time, you are going to have to purchase that, that VIP membership because that's what allows you to even shop 
in the website and have access to all the good good stuff like everything is good but like the premium stuff like the runway collection um just go ahead and you just call and cancel your membership i'm going to insert a clip where they send you an email where they tell you that you've canceled your membership but at any moment that you so choose and your finances allow you can pick up that membership and continue your your subscription with savage x fenty and also i've seen a couple of people express on tiktok where they forget that they've had this and then they accumulate this big amount and they're like oh my god and then they have like a shopping spree so that's also another thing you can do you can save up until you have a big amount accumulated and then do a shopping spree and do like a whole revamp and then do a lingerie shoot and then tag savage x fancy because it's all inclusive and it's like this sort of community so With that being said, that is sort of like the purchasing process of Savage X Fenty and how that sort of goes. Now I'm going to sort of whoosh, put this away. I'm going to push the camera back. So if the audio changes, I apologize. Your girl is shooting this in her room before she got to go to work with an iPhone and a tripod and a ring light. But the show must go on and we are going to continue this because... This is what we've been waiting for and I am super excited and I am ready to open up this box because I have been sitting box, you hear me? Bag. Oh, she all about her bag, honey. I have been waiting to open up this bag for three days now and I can wait no longer. I am ripping it open right now and then we're going to slide all this. Oh, no. Let me rip it open on camera. I'm going to show restraint. I'm going to rip it on camera. Let me just set this all up. I'll be back. So I don't really have much space to kind of like show you the whole like body. So I do apologize if like my lighting or my audio is not that great, but bear with me. We're working through it. So this is what it particularly is going to come in in one of these sort of envelope mailers. And sort of has your information. Boom, boom, boom. And you open it up like this. Ugh. Okay, she's not gonna open it up like a savage she's gonna open it up delicate and dainty okay Ooh, i'm excited hold on hold on i don't even know if i want to show y'all like what it looks like coming out the bag okay hold on let me take everything out the bag now there's one thing i'm not going to show you because that is something that i want to like go into depth with but i will show you just first glance one of the pieces I have this sort of cropped, um, I'm going to just show y'all what it is, but this is, this is sort of like a bit of the haul and let's get into it. I'm going to put everything on hangers and then we're going to get into it. Oh, let me set this up. Let me set this up. <laughs> okay. So when you get your package, each item comes individually wrapped in a, in its own little baggie. You pull your item out and of course you're going to get that iconic savage x fancy logo and that beautiful lavender color with the rose gold embossing it's i mean look at that it's just luxurious it's cute and there's like this overlay you see how there's like an image right there over the like it's just the details for me it's the details for me uh, okay let me set this up and i'll be right back so here are the clothes well i do have that one piece in particular that i have put on the side that i'm going to do just like separate and on its own but the other pieces that i kind of got for this review and the purposes of it i have it broken down into categories so boom i got this little like ruched cropped moment it's like black and sheer and it has like this ruching detail and i got this to go alongside with this in the back but before we talk about this we're gonna talk about this cute pink lounge wear set from savage x fancy i think this is the hot shorts with the cropped top I am wearing this crop top and I'm literally telling you I love this crop top because it is just like literally your boobs are going nowhere. If you are chesty, your boobs are going nowhere. 
Now I got this. I hope I got this in a 2X because this is a 2X. Um, so I got that in pink. And then I also got the hot shorts. The hot shorts I did get in a size 1X. Yep, 1X because... I noticed the bottoms do run a bit big because I do have a little bit of knowledge with Savage X Fenty because I was gifted some of those items that I got in my first review. So ooh, she got this and I'm going to try it on. Now, here's where things get interesting and go down the rabbit hole with me because I'm already manifesting the type of man that I want. The type of man that I want, I'm going to get him hooked on Savage X Fenty because here's the thing, right? Here's the setup. Boom, you've been dating somebody. You've been dating for like nine months. You go to his loft style apartment in downtown LA and you guys had an amazing dinner. He doesn't want the night to end. You guys are not doing anything yet because you're still getting to know each other. And you know, you know your worth and you're saying, hey, you're gonna have to wait to like, you know, enjoy the pleasures of this temple, honey. You set boundaries and you stick to them. Whatever yours may be, it's up to you. But boom. You've been dating for nine months. You sleep over. Y'all just cuddle. And it's everything but good vibes. Then in the morning, you're about to get up. You're like, oh, you know, I didn't bring anything. I just have this dress that I was wearing last night for dinner. And I kind of like feel ucky. He's like, well, just check in my closet. See if like maybe there's anything you can work out like sweats or something. Boom. This is where your moment comes. You've already got him hooked to Savage X Fenty because y'all have been dating for a while. So you already know that this is in his closet. You might even be nice and gift him this, right? With the knowing that this day was going to come where you were going to sleep over his house. He was going to be like, let's go for breakfast or brunch. You know you didn't bring anything even though you secretly have a little overnight bag in your car that has like a little loungewear set because this is perfect to put in a little overnight bag. Oh my God, let me show you. Ah, it's just perfect. You just have like a little overnight bag. Put this in your overnight bag right here, even with the hangers. So then when you get to his house, you put that up. Um, You know, you want to have this out. But yes, ah. You have that overnight back in your car, but you're like, nah, 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 nah. So, boom. This is sort of the vibe because I got this from the sort of male side of the collection. And I got it with the intent that I wanted the vibe to be very much like I slept over my man's house. We're going to brunch. I didn't have any clothes because I was just with him with the night before, but he can't get enough of me. So, because of that, I had to wear his Savage X Fenty smoker's jacket and sort of satin pants and i want you to just oh my god let's talk about the quality oh, this video is gonna be so long but i'm excited and we're going into it we're talking about it uh i don't know what i want to try on first i think i might just get the loungewear set out of the way so that we can just give this its moment and then we can get into like the main event because it gets better it gets better there's a piece that i'm not showing you it gets better stick with me Let's sort of try this on and I'll be right back. Hold on. I mean, let's talk about it. Let, hold on. Let's, let's talk about it. I mean, hello. This is the cutest, just like, oh, I am a fan of just walking around the house in like cute little panties. And these little hot pants, they're just so cute. And then you pair it with the cropped. And what I love is that it has like this scalloped, edged, like elastic band. But the elastic band is not scratchy because when you flip it, it has like this cotton or just this material. So the little etching, stitching on this doesn't rub up against you in any type of way as you see she got full mobility and her boobies are not gonna come out it's just overall the quality for me and the detailing and how everything just looks so cute and it's giving me sexy you can be comfortable cute and flirty or you can be sexy you can do this just in your house drinking hot cocoa 
It's just so cute and a perfect item to just throw in an overnight bag, something to just have that's casual. It's a great color. I don't know if they have it. And this is like my favorite crease. I named her Glare, um, Glendora. Glendora, the, the back crease. I love her. And it just showcases that perfectly. Like that cute little, mm, 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 mm. They just want to grab it like this. That's sexy. This is sexy and I feel sexy in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm feeling it. I feel great in this. It feels comfortable and it's giving a different type of just vibe and sex appeal. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I got this. This is definitely, definitely, definitely a vibe. But now let's get into that. Ooh wearing my boyfriend's clothes <laughs> period let me tell you something let me tell you something let me tell you something i feel so sexy and fierce in this outfit it don't make no sense now i know what you're seeing but i don't want to get demonetized on youtube so i'm gonna have to put like a bando knot to cover it so y'all can really see what's going on so i'll be right back okay so this was the look that i was going for i'm going out to brunch i'm wearing my man savage x fenty because i got him trained because i knew this moment was gonna come where i would be wearing this and baby i feel amazing and it comes with this tie so you could sort of like tie it if you wanted to and just, you know, or like, I don't know, do something like that. I don't know, but this is just, it's just giving. And then look at the little sheer cropped. Now I bought this crop with the intention to wear it sheer and showcase my nipples because if one thing Riri does so flawlessly is showcase her nipples in an empowering way. And I feel as a woman, um, I'm not able to express or feel that sort of freedom that males get to have, you know, males showcasing their nipples isn't a deal in this world, but the over-sexualization of the female physique has made so much shame and stigma and just commotion over our nipples that I wanted to wear a top with an outfit that I feel empowered in something that was sort of perceived as masculine and feminize it and embrace it. So I will be showcasing my nipples when I wear this outfit and I'm going to embrace it. Now I'm going to take off these pieces because I want to go more into the detail and the quality of the items. So let's get into it. Now, first and foremost, like I keep talking about this iconic Savage X Fenty like elastic is perfect. Now, if you see the way the shirt is developed, it's developed to contour to your breast. And this little seam right here, it just gives like a flattering effect to your chest. It doesn't matter what size you are. Just that little detail of the seam really contours to adjust to the shape of your breast, which is something that normal tops don't cater to and accommodate when it comes to the curvature. You see like right here, when it comes to the curvature, this right here, this little seam, I hope you guys are seeing it, is just going to contour the chest perfectly. And it's those little details. And then look at the little scalloping on the neckline. Even that is embossed with the Savage X Fenty logo also. The tags are just with two little tacks, easy removal so that you don't have to like be beholden to the tag. And then of course, this is just beautiful and it's the quality. Now the shorts, the same detail, the same quality, this cropped. I'm going to go ahead and take it off so that we can go into the detail of the cropped top. But it's it's beautiful and it just hugs and it's the shaping and look at that. It's the little ruching. It's just the little rose gold details. Just it's 
it's just cute. It's cute. It's cute. I want to put it back on. I'm going to put it back on. Now, this is what I'm like blown away is the quality of this. I'm so hyped and happy that I got this. So hyped and happy. Look at this. This is sexy. Now, I did get this oversized because I wanted it to be oversized. Think of like T-Boss, Chili, that era where people were wearing oversized items. I love that she offers extra buttons. If you lose your buttons, always keep your buttons. Look at this. Even in the detailing, Savage X Fenty all over. But I don't know if you guys can see this. No little YouTuber. Savage X Fenty all over the band of the pants. This is what the pants are looking like. And they have this adjustable band that, oh, imagine how sexy this is, just pulling this out. But you can adjust it, I guess. I'm obsessed with this. Look at the color. I want it in every single color. And then what I like is that down here below, look at this little detail. The little Savage X Fenty tag right there. It's just cute. Then the smoker's jacket. Look at this. I mean, it's the detail. The little Savage X Fenty logo embossed in the same color. It's the quality. You know what I'm saying? You're paying for quality. I wanted the onesie so bad. The green onesie. I just wanted everything, but... It's the quality. It's the way it drapes. It's the ease of it. It's the fact that I wear those loungewear crop tops. I wear them with a skirt. I wear them outside. These are items that you don't have to feel like it's just an inside outfit. You can wear this outside and just give and feel sexy and feel great. I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed. I, I'm, I'm obsessed. I love this. I love this. I want this in every single color. It's just cute. Oh, you don't understand. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. And then, you know, because there's two of these, if I wanted to just go ahead, put my hair up. You know what I'm saying? Put my hair up with this. Hello. And then create a bow. Hello. Now she has an updo. She has an up to. You know what I'm saying? She has an up to with a ribbon. Of course, you got to fix it. But you know what I mean? Like, there's possibilities. And then she still has another strap to tie around the waist. So the possibilities are just endless. Like, endless. And I love just like the effortlessness of it. Just love it. So, yes, definitely a 10 out of 10. I recommend this. Oh, it's so cute. And don't you just love it when you can just go into your man's closet and take his stuff and wear it? Ugh, I don't have a boyfriend yet. Yet. But I can't wait to go into his closet and take his stuff. Nothing's being caught in my hair. But, yeah, this is the look. Ugh, I don't even want to take it off. I'm so excited. But I want to talk about this piece and give it its due diligence because... This particular piece is the reason why I even purchased this whole haul. If you have not watched the Savage X Fenty show, of course, as always, Riri showcased so much diversity, but she showcased one person in particular that I admire and has been a trailblazer in the trans community. And that is Laomi Maldonado. I'm gonna insert the clip of when she was walking Oh, not even walking. She was voguing and shablamming the house down on that stage. Naomi Maldonado, being from New York, being a prevalent, iconic person in the ballroom scene. If you guys are not familiar with the ballroom scene, Pose does an amazing um, 
does an amazing representation of the ballroom culture, the ballroom scene being a place where LGBTQ youth and community will come together and perform in categories that, and sort of created a world, not sort of created the world, the ballroom culture and community. If you guys want, I can go deep, deep, deep into the history and the culture. Paris is burning. It's just a lot, you know, Pepe La Beja and just the whole history of the ballroom culture. I can get into it, but to give you a brief rundown, the ballroom culture is a space that was created so that LGBTQ community can feel included in a world that we oftentimes don't have access to a world where, you know, doesn't understand us and shuns us. We've created a space in that community in the 90s where it originated that um, created a world where we were able to walk categories like realness and femme and all of these categories and create a world where we were included. So Laomi Maldonado being an iconic, iconic representation of the trans community, a trailblazer, being on Pose, being on um, America's Next Best Dance Crew, overcoming just the, her list goes on and on of accomplishments and her being from New York, her being from the ballroom culture really was just inspirational and aspirational. And it made me feel like that's going to be me on that stage, period. That's going to be me. This is a woman like me, you know, she understands she's walked the streets that I've walked. This, this is what. I needed to see in this world and just seeing her on the runway completely took my breath away. So I needed to own the piece that she was wearing. Now I did not get the exact one. She was wearing the LeMay shorts. I wind up getting the LeMay skirt because I prefer skirts, but this is the outfit that Naomi Maldonado was wearing on the Savage X Fenty fashion show. And it is the reason why I wanted to get anything from this collection. I'm already obsessed. It is this metallic LeMay. Look at the pleating on this skirt. I am just first impressions. This is everything. And of course, she had to get the bra, the underwired bra. When she was voguing and like the wind caught a whiff, I saw that this was like a sheer detailing underneath. And the minute I saw that this was a sheer bra, I was like, talk about sexy. I cannot take it. And to know that an iconic, iconic trans trailblazer wore this outfit and it has bows and it's this outfit literally screamed you needed this and i needed to have this iconic moment in history to have such trans representation of all walks of life being represented on a runway lingerie show it's a moment in history that i needed to own and I just, if you don't know who Laomi is, I'm going to add a couple of links to things that she has accomplished. She is an amazing individual and I cannot wait to meet her. I needed this piece and I know exactly where I'm going to wear it and I'm going to try it on right now. So I'll be right back. Now, I hope I don't get demonetized, um, but the skirt is definitely not the right size. So unfortunately, I will have to be returning the skirt. This is what it looks like. I cannot show you the back because I definitely would get demonetized. But um, this skirt is a 1X. And just because I want it to fit a little better, I'm going to run the risk and try to return the skirt so that I can get another skirt in the proper size. I hope that they still have it. I will be giving you guys an update on how that process goes. The bra, for the most part, let me take off the tank top so that I can get a really good gauge of what the bra is giving. The bra is a 38 double D. It definitely fits my breast and I like what it's giving. 
So this is the iconic piece that I knew I had to get my hands on. And I hope that I can get my hands on the proper skirt size. And I hope that they still have it. I think that they still have a lot of these pieces. So if you're interested in getting your hands on any of them, you better run to it now and get it. So with that being said, this is my Savage X Fancy haul. This is all that I got, all that I'm giving, and I love it. Like I said, I will be returning this skirt piece, and I will let you know how that whole process goes, and hopefully I can get my hands on the replacement ASAP, because if I cannot, this is like the most important piece. Like this is, this is the moment. This is the thing. They even had like a LeMay jacket, but I couldn't get that because I wanted to get like, oh, I'm obsessed with these bows. I'm literally this. This is the moment. She is the moment when she walks in the room wearing this. And I'm obsessed with it. I love it. And I know that you guys are going to love Savage X Fenty too. So go ahead and run over to their website and let them know that Mishi sent you. Send them a little text and be like, hey, you know, your girl Mishi, she really giving y'all a lot of press. Y'all need to hit her up because, you know, we want to see her on the runway. So until next time, bendiciones. And always remember, you are worth going after what you want. So never stop and follow your heart and go after what, go after your dreams. Go after your dreams and don't wait for anybody to give you the permission to do so. Period.